Hey everybody, I got my lunch, homemade lunch here. I got a mat over here and I'm wearing shades. Where are we going? Let's find out. Actually, we are at the same day as my previous video was. But I think this video today deserves a special filming session because to me this is a special day what is it let's find out Okay, why is it so special but not special to anybody else? I mean, it's, it's especially special to me. It's just a normal day. I have to go to my customers' places to do my things. But it's lunchtime and I brought my homemade lunch. And we are sitting here in the beach of Batu Layar. Uh, if translated to English, it is called the Beach of the Stone of Sail or Sail Stone Sail Rock, something like that Why is it called the Beach of Batulaya? I point you to that direction over there and as you can see, right behind those trees over there there's a big tall rock which is actually taller than this before and it is shaped like a sail on a sailing boat but uh, as time goes by as time passes by the height of the rock has been uh, reduced due to the erosion uh, whether from the salt water or the wind itself because uh, as we know near to the sea on the beaches the air is uh, the wind is quite strong and it erodes some of the rocks and uh, by time those rocks will eventually disappear anyway back to my lunch i got my water over here i got my coffee and i got my lunch before heading to my final appointment right near over here decided to have my lunch first and I'm waiting for somebody to come over here and ask for the parking uh, ask for me to pay for the parking ticket because uh, we have to pay the parking over here as I know but nobody comes actually it's a Wednesday so I think the car park charges doesn't apply for today so let's wait and see. It's not so bright now, so I guess I just uh, take off my shades. And today I bring to you homemade lunch from my wife, which is uh, fried vermicelli or mihun goreng. It's uh, uh, one piece of uh, fried egg, sunny side up. Actually, the sun is already like stiff over there, and three pieces of cucumber. So. Let's just dig in while uh, I look for a topic to talk about. Anyway, uh, when we bring our lunch in a tupperware like this, in a plastic container, after some hours of leaving it in the car, it tends to just uh, clog, clot and combine into one so what we do is we just shake them off to make it fluffy most of the times it works but let's see my luck for today
much better but not properly scrambled I anyway mean. anyway the taste will be the same it's just that the texture is not so fluffy when if compared to the when it is freshly fried or cooked right anyway as I'm enjoying this I'm going to show you guys rotate you guys slowly so that you guys can uh, enjoy the view of this beautiful beach So welcome back, um, just want to make a note that I've set the built-in microphone of my Insta360 ONE X2 to wind reduction because it's windy over here on the beach, at the beach. So I think it's a good idea to set it to wind reduction. Uh, hope that it will bring a better result in terms of the sound that uh, you guys are listening right now um, when i was driving over here i saw some red flags waving when they uh, place it on the beaches along the beaches because it is a stern warning that it is not a good idea to have a swim at this time of the month because the waves are quite strong the waves are splashing and uh, hitting the rocks and also because it is a uh, low tide you, as you can see the rocks are all emerging from the blanket of uh, ocean or the water but anyway uh, even if it's a low tide or high tide I think it's better to be uh, in the low tide because you you can see where the rocks are located and then you know where to wade if you want to wade the water but it's, it is not a good idea to have a swim because the waves as I told you and uh, the authorities have put up a warning that we are not allowed to swim at this uh, time of the month um, so can you imagine how lucky I am to be able to have my lunch on a beach alone without anybody else except for this rubbish that has been accompanying me you can see a lot of rubbish over here this is these are the um, footprints of humans you know whenever you see rubbish you can be assured that humans were here before me <laughs> so that's why i said that's why i've mentioned that today is a special day because not every day that when I do my work or assignments or appointments that I can have my lunch right on the beach watching the waves 
and do not have to come up with uh, any money because these are brought from home so that is why I do not wish to waste my opportunity to do this filming By the way, if I can say thanks to this tree, I will because it provides me with the shade, you know, or else I'm going to just sit over there on the beach on the hot sand over there, baked by the sun, which is really bright right now. Okay, you might ask me what other things are special on this beach of Batulaya as I'm having my lunch here it has something to do with food <coughs> yes you can find food even without uh, coming up with any money from your pocket you know you see those rocks over there when you go there you will find snails sea, sea snails uh, we call it the seaport timber sea snails where you can just pluck them off from uh, the surfaces of the rocks because it, it sticks to the rocks and when the when the tide is low you can uh, gather so many of them and then excuse me I just burp and then you just bring it home, boil it, put in some salt and then you just use a piece of toothpicks and you skew the uh, snails from inside of its shell and then you just can uh, eat it like a snack. Maybe I will bring you along to show you. What does this these snails looks like? Let's go. <laughs> Just fell down over there. Let's find some snails. And if I can find the English name for it, I will pull it down right here. But then again, the name of it in Malay is Siput Timber. When it is uh, directly translated to English, it is called the uh, Bucket Snail. That makes sense because it does, the shape of it looks, does looks like a bucket. Uh, let's see if we can find some of them over here right i'm not going to take them away because that is not my intention of the day i just want to have lunch and right after that just head to my next appointment which is the last appointment of the day Oh, there it is. That's only one of it. Down here. Can you see that? <laughs> so this is like a kind of a juvenile one. So what you do is you just, you see, just pluck them off from the surface of the rock. And you can see the guy inside there. It has a door actually. The black, uh, I mean the dark uh, brown side is the door of it. 
is hard and it's solid so you have to use a toothpick to skew them out after it is boiled but this guy is so small and let's just put it back where it is so that it can grow bigger and then it is time for the harvesting meanwhile let's find a bigger one to show you at which size it is the best to enjoy them let's see oh by the way the one that we found just now that color is so bright yellow, uh, bright orange it, it, usually it's not like so it is like a dark brown this is quite strange because usually they are very easy to be found but let's try this side then probably they are hiding from me but i do think they can run so fast that uh, they're not actually crabs that can run away they just sit on one place and uh, just wait for, for people to harvest them. This is strange. Probably it's not the uh, right time of the year to come and harvest these snails. There used to be a lot over here. But so far, what we found is just only one of them. That's another one over here which is also like similar size like the ones that we found just now but it is baking in the sun because it is as you see the tide is low ah there you are okay so i better put this juvenile over here under the water uh, so that it won't bake in the sun and lucky for us that we found the optimum size that this guy should be harvested this other one you see as i told you it is dark brown in color yeah these are the ones you see uh, if you notice it is as the same size as my thumb so this is the perfect size for it to be harvested boiled and eaten enjoyed i mean there you are so this is the best so we just put it back under the water to make it oh, oh, look guys look over here there's another snail here but it is not actually a snail it's i believe this is a hermit crab there's a crab underneath this shell because I can see one of the legs are protruding and it is hiding. Okay, hold on. Be careful. You can see. There you are. It's moving, you see? There's a crab underneath there. <laughs> so, okay, as you can see that, it's running away. See? It's a hermit crab. So it feels agitated and it's moving very fast. <laughs> Look at that. So lucky of we, lucky of we, we are to. Oh, that's a baby hermit crab over there. See, there's a, another another snail shell with a juvenile crab under it, underneath it. So, all right. Let's leave them alone to mind their own business. It is still moving right there, still running away. And yeah, so basically that's the information that I would like to share with you guys. It's enough for the day. And yeah, with that, 
I think I would like to call it a day and the end of another video and yeah thank you for joining me I will see you in the next video